Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies and this is the PSE Laser for 2021. The PSE Laser is new, but when I say it's new for 2021, it's the bow under the PSE Supra, which is their PSE's big selling target bow. And PSE has always had a bow under the PSE Supra at this price point, at the $1,000 price point. But this goes back, the laser reminds me of the PSE Phenom, which goes back a number of years. It's, to me, the PSE have gone back about five years to make this bow a very attractive budget target bow. It retails in Australia at a, bit, a little bit over $1,000, which puts it about $500 cheaper than the PSE Supra, which is significant because at this price point, it doesn't compete against anything in the American market. It competes against the Chinese target bows. And as soon as you compete against the Chinese target bows, we've really got to say, well, now we're com competing against a one-year warranty versus the PSE lifetime warranty the PSE backup and now we're really looking at what's the quality of this bow compared to the $1,500 bows or even the $2,000 bows by other manufacturers. Now in the past the PSE Phenom or Centrix has been a downgrade on the PSE Supra. It's had plastic limb pockets and things that just are not as good. The Centrix was a shorter bow really aimed at the ladies and kid market with about a 30 odd inch axle axle. The laser comes in at 37 inches axle axle, um, seven and a half inch brace height, um, draw length of 24 to 30, 30 and a half from memory, 30 and a half, um, and a speed of 323 feet per second. Now that's a blistering speed for a target bow, especially with the seven and a half inch brace height. Now as far as target bows are concerned, 37 inches is seen to be one of the prime axle axle sizes. It's the size of the PSE Super, which is the biggest selling target bow on the market. It's the size of the Elite Result. It's a very popular target size. Now with this bow, PSE has gone back in in the way it's designed its bows metal limb pockets i think it's a huge plus for pse to put on metal limb pockets a big straight riser this reminds me of the money maker from years ago it reminds me of the matthews trx's and you're going to say well the matthews trx is three two thousand two hundred dollars absolutely this is under half the price of that bow with the design which looks very very similar the machining looks nice um, you'll see some machine marks here. I don't know if you can see them, but they are, it's pretty good. Comes in a whole heap of different colors, white. This is the black, navy blue, rose gold. Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten some of the other ones. Titanium, if I already mentioned that. It also does come as a, available as a custom finish. That goes through the custom shop. Um, and you've got to wait for that, obviously, to be built. Um, it's got multiple sight holes alongside here, so you can move your sight up or down. That's great. A huge sight window, two Allen key holes, two um, bolt holes here to screw your RS2. Now, this is great. It's a simple thing. PSC should have done it years ago. The cable rod, it's adjustable and it's the old locking system that PSC used to use, which sort of clamps together. A very good system. It's dependable. I've really never had a failure. The strings, the first thing I noticed about the strings is they're very waxy. Um, they feel like my hands kind of covered in wax just from touching them. It has the yoke system. This is the yoke system for 2021 so you can balance the wheel. Um, in the past they had floating yokes and I think in the past the Centrix didn't even have a yoke system. So PFE, PSE have upgraded all that. You'll see the limbs are under a fair bit of compression, so they're kind of fit into a straight riser here with a lot of compression. PSE have gone to limbs these days where the limbs are under less tension. So I'd expect this bow to be quite crisp to shoot. I'd expect little vibration out of it, and I expect pretty good speeds. The cams remind me of the EM system. I'm not sure why they didn't put the EM cam on it, unless it was just to reduce the cost or the profile of it. It's non-adjustable let off. So it's a fixed let off, but you can change the draw length here on the letters. Each letter is half an inch, A being the longest, and 
N being the shortest, so N will be your 24 and your A will be 30 and a half. You've got to do to the top what you do to the bottom, so if it's on A at the top, it's on A at the bottom. Overall, it's got a plastic grip. Now the drive and the other ones have got a rubberized grip. It feels the same, but this is like a hard plastic. You can take the grip off if you don't like the grip. Um, the balance is very similar to the Super. If you relax your hand, the bow's gonna hit you in the head, which is good. That's what you want for target archery because you're gonna shoot a big, long st stabilizer at the front. Two stabilizer holes at the front, so you can shoot either high or low. At the back, you've got two at the back high or low that's great a string stop which is carbon nice and simple i like this bow pse seems to have done lots of things that it should have done years ago um, this here so to wind the bow in or out out it by the wind the bow in or out it goes into this limb bolt here and you can actually see from the back how much thread you've got left i love that system it's just nice and easy it's it's really the bow you want for target archery. Now the difference between this and the Supra. Supra comes in two cams. It comes in the EM cam, which looks very much like this, which is the short draw version. And it comes in an e ES cam, which is bigger. So it's a bit smoother, adjustable let off, a little bit slower. Um, different cables, cable guard. The um, Supra used to come with carbon and maybe come coming with aluminium now so it's a little bit different um, mounting system here different color system um, I'm gonna say it looks a bit flashier the Supra than this but this looks okay I'm gonna say this is the best thousand dollar target bow PC have produced and I really like the phenom I really couldn't pick much difference between that and the Supra going back I think about seven years so um, let's just try the draw cycle out I haven't drawn this bow I really this is the first I've seen it it's what I tend to do in my reviews I'm gonna guess the draw cycle is gonna be hard because it's got these they look like aggressive cams so I'm gonna guess the draw cycle is hard so if you're gonna try drawing it um, I'd probably wind the bow back a bit um, so it starts off hard pretty consistent the whole way through valley now valley that's it the valley feels like about a 70% let off I'm going to shoot the shot right so I shot this bow set at 29 inches um 60 pound i shot a vap arrow which i use for target it's 140 grain point a 350 grain spine sorry 350 spine i can't remember what it weighs um i shot 272 which is pretty much the same as my super from memory um the draw cycle so it feels solid all the way through and you get that valley you don't really feel it hitting a valley it's just slowly kind of gets in the valley and when it stops you don't really notice it so with the ec system you'll feel the valley it literally comes in it can have 90 percent let off and you do feel it this feels smoother and it surprises me it feels smoother than the em cam it's um feels feels pretty good i didn't feel any shock um at the shot so let's just try it again there solid back here very solid wall it's crisp it's a very crisp no noise no vibration feels crisp to shoot the bow sort of jumps forward when you shoot feels very similar to like the Supra to shoot feels good it feels better than like your phenoms of before and your centrics I'm gonna say this is probably a cast limb pocket and I'm gonna say probably the super is a machine limb pocket whether that's it makes any difference to you I don't think it really does um, that was 270 feet per second now this is a gold tip velocity this is what I normally do all my tests with it weighs 327 grains 400 spined arrow with a 90 grain point um, 
I'd be expecting a speed of around 300. Um, the really fast bows shoot about 320. Most bows will shoot around 290. But this is smooth. Two nine three, so a little bit under what I expected. We're going to shoot the Victory 3D HV, and the reason I laugh is because these things are so fast. These um, is a 400 spine arrow. I'm guessing it's got an 80 grain point. They blister. It'll shoot um, two nine three. It should shoot three. Is it three thirteen? It shoots. Is it 20 feet per second faster? I think it is. Three thirteen. That's so much faster. I have people ring me all the time about the three D HV, and they say that is an amazing arrow. It is an amazing arrow. Um, love this bow to shoot. Um, really, like the machining here is really nice. The grip feels comfortable. Now, your first inclination is going to be to take the grip off because you want it to feel like all your other target bows. I'm going to say leave it on to start with. Um, I'm going to say one of the top shooters in Australia has got the he's got the NXT 33. I'm going to say it's the 35. He wants a 35. He's got a 33. He's shooting with the rubber grip and he shoots amazing with it. Um, and he said, "Well, I was thinking about taking off, but I'm shooting scores with it, and it, he shoots like great scores." Um, so just shoot it with the grip on and see what it's like. And then if you want to take the grip off, take the grip off, shoot scores. I always say shoot scores and see if you're shooting any better. Because I find like this is keeping my hand exactly the way it should be, at 45 degrees. It feels comfortable. Definitely wider than the Supra with the grip on. But the advantage of this is you can take the grip off. With the Supra, it doesn't come with the grip. The Citation doesn't come with the grip. This comes with the grip. So try it with it and sort of see how it feels. But it's it's zippy. It'd be good for 3D. Good for target. Good for indoor. I think I'll shoot pretty well with this. So with that, let's go back to 18 and see if we can shoot a group. So I'm at 18 meters with the laser and I'm ready to shoot. Um, I don't know how the video will work at the other end because the other camera didn't work and I'm doing it on my phone. So let's see how it works. I expect to shoot really well with this bow. I don't know if I will because I haven't been shooting much in the last, I haven't been shooting much for the last two months. I've just been working. I haven't been shooting much in the last year. <laughs> so let's try it out. Now I do all my reviews with a five pin sight and a little whisker biscuit and D loop. That's it. No peep sight. They're all done the same. Um, I don't know why the draw cycle on this. That so it's a 29 inch. It feels like 29 inch. It doesn't feel longer. It doesn't feel shorter. It feels good. The draw so it's a 60 pound bow. It feels probably like a 54. It feels significantly lighter. Now I'm currently shooting a Citation 36 with the EM cam. I've wound down the 60 to probably 55, 56, I'm guessing. And I'm going to say this feels easy to draw. And yet the cam should be similar. So it feels nice at the end. The pin's basically sitting in the middle. It's not moving around. It's not going up or down. It's easy to aim. Um, oh, serial number. PSE has changed the serial number position. It used to be down there. I don't know where they've moved it to. There it is. It's on the sticker there now. Um, it used to be the last two digits representing the poundage. PSE has gone away from that. Um, I like that. I assume the reason they went away from that is because people changed limbs. Oh. 
really like the draw cycle I like the holding weight um, I rate this bow now how does it compete against the Chinese bows now the sand leader hero sells for about a thousand shoot through riser it's a much harder draw cycle on the sand leader it's very much like a Hoyt and that's not putting down Hoyt so just a harder draw cycle the PSE EM is a harder draw cycle the EM is very much like the fast PSE the far, like the fast Hoyt cams and the sand leader very much along those hard draw cycles this this feels easier Now I compare it to the toe point reliance top of the line shoot through not shoot through some riser like this limbs like this cam system like this the reliance sells for about the same price um, I'm gonna say pr probably the reliance looks nicer but this is a very well, say standard riser lots of success with these types of straight risers there's nothing not to like about this bow. And I'm going to say I think PSE with this bow have really hit the mark. I don't know if they've hit it so well it's going to detract from their PSE Super sales. I don't think so because people are still going to want to spend the extra $500 and buy the Supra because it's a more prestigious model and I don't think $500 to most people is going to be deter them. Um, think where this bow hits the mark is like beginners getting into archery the budget um, the budget archer you're gonna shoot so well with this bow I don't know how well I'm shooting I don't think I'm shooting that well but I feel I'd shoot just as well with this bow than any bow I've ever shot Now shooting this bow reminds me of shooting the Bowtech Specialist which is also the Bowtech cheaper target bow. Uh, Bowtech has got the Reckoning which is about $2,200 bow, target bow. The Specialist I think sells for about the $1,300 mark. I can't remember that well so let's just go from memory. I don't think it's got a yoke system on it. I think it's a, like a binary cam system without the... Um, without that besides that i think they're both similar i think i prefer this draw cycle and you can say well you don't really remember the specialist not really but i tell you what i do remember is this draw cycle is just it's just on the money it's just really really good Now this is not the draw cycle you want for a hunting bow. Okay, so when I talk about draw cycles, I'm talking about for the purpose. This is a target bow. This is the draw cycle you want for a target bow. It's smooth all the way through. It's not going to jump. It's not going to, you know, sitting back here holding no weight. It's just, the problem is when you've got a valley that drops off all of a sudden, it moves your sight pin. This, me, this means you're aiming the whole time because it's so smooth all the way through. The bow's putting my hand in the perfect position how it should be. Um, some of the other bows, your hand just kind of floats around the place. This, it just feels perfect. So, so I suppose in summary of this bow, 
some target bows are hard, especially for a beginner, because the draw cycle is so hard. There's so little valley, it's, it's hard to shoot. If you shoot all the time, you're gonna shoot well with it. This bow is suitable for the advanced archer to the beginner. It's gonna be easy to shoot. And the draw cycle is so smooth all the way through, whether you're a beginner or an advanced archer, it's gonna be easy for you. 3D archers are gonna to have to think whether you want this bow or like something like the Evolve 34 or the NXT 35 or the NXT 33 because it's got that 90% let off. So, this is gonna be easy to shoot. So let's go and take a look at it. Okay, so up at the target, like this is a pretty average group. Um, left or right is actually pretty good. Um, these ones on the side here, a little bit up and down. It's not my best group. Um, but I feel so comfortable with this bow. I, f I feel more comfortable in this bow than the Citation. Um, the PSC is gonna whack me for that. Um, but it feels good, it feels really, really good. Now, if you're again to target archery, you're probably target archery, or you're like shooting a $2,000 Matthews, you're probably not going to want to try this. But have a try with this bow at the local archery shop. Draw it back, shoot an arrow, and tell me, just leave a note saying, look, I've shot this bow, and it is just as good, because you wouldn't believe me. I, before doing this review, I would have been like, yeah, whatever, like laser, $1,000 bow, who cares, right? But this is really good. It shoots shoots really really good for a thousand bucks awesome value look limb graphics i'm not a fan of um look it's all right it just looks a bit cheap so limb graphics i'm gonna say is the big minor of it the rest of it i i like it the machining the risers great length love all the holes love these holes love these holes love this and i think for target you're going to be on the money with this i'm stephen hand from archery supplies this is the PSE laser new for 2021 lifetime warranty the PSC PC warranty is awesome um, and i mean 2020 was a terrible year for all bone manufacturers 2021 they're starting to get back up to speed just now all bow manufacturers are starting to get back up to speed with producing bows and it seems to be getting better with supply so the laser look out for it now you'll start to see them in the shops they've only just new in my shop um, in the last few weeks thanks for watching bye